Today I'd like to run through two new developer tools features that are currently available on the Firefox Aurora channel. These are slated for final release in March 2012. The first feature started life as an add-on called Tilt and is now integrated directly into the Page Inspector. To see Tilt, the first step is to get into the Page Inspector. I'll use the Inspect Element context menu item. As long as your computer is WebGL ready, you'll now see a 3D button in the toolbar. Click that and you get a brand new visualization of the web page's structure, not surprisingly in 3D. Here's a Mozilla Hacks page. I can click and drag with my mouse to rotate the view. I can also use the W, A, D, and S keys to do the same thing. The scroll wheel zooms in and out, as do the plus and minus keys. If I control click and drag with the mouse, I can pan the view. The arrow keys do the same thing. Something interesting to see on sites with comments is that if you look from the side, you can spot how deep the nesting level of the thread gets. Here are the comments on that hacks post. Let's take a look at the Tintin comic book website. I'll open up the page inspector and the 3D view. When I zoom out, I can spot something interesting here. The 3D view lets me see elements that are outside of the visible area of the page. If I click on an element in the 3D view, it does the same thing as selecting an element in the Page Inspector's normal 2D view. I can get a look at the HTML for the element I got selected. I can also take a look at the styles, information about the styles of that element. The 3D view gives you new insight into the structure of a page. The second feature I want to show you is the new style editor. Let's head back to Mozilla Hacks. You can find the style editor in the web developer menu. At the top or left, you'll see a list of the style sheets. You can see that the main hack style sheet has 275 rules in it. If I click on the eye icon, I can see what happens when I toggle the style sheet on or off. Changes that I make in the style editor appear live in the browser window. Let's add a gradient to this rule here, which sets the margins and padding on a bunch of different elements. So I'll set the background to Mo's Linear Gradient. Going to the bottom from white to gray. Okay, so now you can see on all these elements we've got these linear gradients. It looks pretty hideous actually. So you know what, I'm gonna take that, what I just added here, and I'm gonna cut that from here. So now you can see the background has reverted back there. I'm going to now head in here and replace that. So now the background of the page has been replaced with a gradient. And you can see that the gradient is what I asked for. Uh, if I want, I can even go in and lighten that up, make it a light gray. Now if this was a source style sheet for a site I was working on, I could simply go up to the list of style sheets and click on Save to save to disk. The style editor is a great tool to use when you're building up a new page layout. The new button lets you add a new style sheet to the page, which then of course you can save when you're done. Import lets you load an existing style sheet from disk and add it to the page. And there you have a quick look at the new style editor and the 3D view in the page inspector. Go to mozilla.org aurora and download Firefox Aurora today to try out the latest developer tools. I'm Kevin Dangor, and I hope to hear from you about these or any other web developer tools. Stop by Pound Dev Tools on irc.mozilla.org and let us know what you think.